Hello my friends, in today's video we're going to talk about me dosing nitrates into my system and things I've noticed within a week of dosing nitrates. Real quickly before we get to that, if you're new to this channel, this is a reef channel and if you're a fellow reefer, please help a fellow reefer out and hit that subscribe button, it really helps me out, it really helps the channel grow and hit that thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. I actually plan to make this video in about a month from now. However, I've seen enough significant changes that I figured this is actually a pretty good time to make this video. So let me first give you a bit of background on why I'm dosing nitrates. This all stems back to one of the comments I received for one of my tank update videos either a month ago or the month before. I test a lot of things, alkalinity, salinity, calcium sometimes, and magnesium sometimes. So those are the big four that I recommend anyone test. And I also test phosphate. And I've never truly understood the purpose of needing to test nitrates and how it works with phosphates. I currently still don't, but if you know anything, please leave me a comment in the comments below and we can discuss it. Um, cause I definitely like to know a bit more about how nitrates can benefit a tank. So now that I've given you guys a little bit of, of background, um, what I did a week ago was that I got a nitrate test. This is a salifert nitrate test and a ESV bionic nitrate. And with those two things, the first thing I did was I tested my nitrates and guess what? my nitrates are either zero or very close to zero. I'm not sure what the margin of error is on that test. This is what I've noticed. This is what I noticed on the first day. And then this is what I've noticed today, just looking at the acros. So here is a gold hammer I got from my buddy Lee. This hammer has been kind of receded ever since I got it. So receded in the sense that um, the tentacles were not coming out, like the polyp wasn't fully extended and full. It was pulled into the skeleton. The first day, well technically the first evening that I started dosing nitrates I dosed a total of about 0.6 ppm and about an hour after I dosed I took a look at the tank and this guy the polyps were extended if you look at it right now all four polyps are extended it was it has not been like that for like one or two months so right away I was like like I'm blown away Okay, so, so this was the first indicator to me that, wow, nitrates are actually really important. Like right away, I've never seen, and this is not as puffy as I saw six days ago. Six days ago, I just sat there and I stared. I had changed nothing else with what I've been doing. Just 0.6 ppm of nitrates made my euphilia much happier. And now I'm gonna zoom back and we're gonna look at all my euphilia. And they are all huge. So he, here's the deal. Okay, I sell, I don't sell a lot of euphilia. They grow slowly for me. And when I frag them, I will frag, I will make maybe like five, between five and 10 frags. And I'm always told by a lot of people that pick up frags that, hey, your, your stuff's amazing. It, it's like twice as big than what it was when I saw it in your tank. And I was like, <laughs> it, it almost, it always made me a little jealous. And of course I was glad that um, people are achieving great results. But at the same time, I couldn't figure out what was going on. But um, yeah, this yellow guy up here, 
I don't know if he's doubled in size, but he's definitely much, he seems much happier. And the big giveaway for me was just that gold one. So I'm not telling you guys go out there and dump nitrates into your system. Don't do that. What I'm sharing with you guys is, look, as far as I can tell, my water parameters are good. Alkalinity is stable. And therefore, I'm starting to look for other reasons why maybe my coloration is off or why certain coral don't seem as happy as I've seen them in the past. If your euphilia are showing anything like that, one of the possibilities now that I'm aware of is it could be an indication that your nitrates are too low. The only real sign that I've seen so far is my euphilia, and it's not just this gold one, it's also this wall one back here. It's probably my most expensive piece. Really beautiful. It's kind of been receded into a skeleton for the longest period. It would, so I've had that guy for about two years, a little less than two years. And he goes through periods of coming out and being fluffy and then receding into a skeleton. So for the last week, as far as I can tell, he's been out and he looks perfectly fine. So again, that's another indication to me that Hey, my having low to undetectable levels of nitrates have actually kind of been hurting my euphilia. All right, guys. So we're back in the main display. And one of the problems I've been experiencing is that the red color, the acros I know should be red or close to red, have not been showing, presenting their colors very well. So if they're like this guy, this Red Diablo, for a while there, he was, his coloration was really weak. Uh, the Fox Flame over here, same thing. And here's the last piece. This is Fred Garage Hot Pink. And I, I was, I was very underwhelmed. And it's funny, oh, here's one more. This is Wheelman Corals. Um, what do you call it? Mind Binder. It's an Aussie Acro. I don't know. I, I think it might be in a Rosaria. I'm not sure. But yeah, so reds in general were looking weak in my tank. Pinks, not so much. So this Jimmy Bean, the pink color is fine. And so I was, I've really been looking for a reason and I've been dosing nitrates for six days. And today, under um, the blue LEDs, the actinics, I was washing the tank and I was like, wait a second. Is it just me or do the reds just look better? And not, not just the reds. So this is hot pink. This is a pink. Its coloration has not been great. But now, now look at the coloration. And this is under the halides, um, it's whiter, but completely different. And again, thank you, Mr. Commenter, because I think you solved my problems. And not just, and it's not just better coloration. The growth in the last six days or five days at least to my eyes, have been phenomenal. Now, this isn't with all of them, but there's certain pieces that maybe I've had a bit of trouble with, and they're just shooting out new branches and new growth tips. Um, yeah, look at this guy. So I don't, I haven't been paying enough attention or have enough photo evidence to say whether or whether whether it was nitrates or if it was just something else, maybe it was time, it hit that growth spurt stage. But I, I strongly believe that um, a deficiency in my nitrate levels have one, have really impacted my acropora coloration, 
which again, thank you for pointing that out. And two, potentially have impacted growth rates. So last kicker is when I tested elk yesterday, it had dropped to, it's always been stable at 8.9, it had dropped to 8.6. So yes, as coral grow, they absorb more, um, they use up more alkalinity. However, whether it's a coincidence or not, I do feel like it could be an indication that my low nitrates were actually restricting Acropora growth. So right now, everything is growing better than ever. And by the way, this isn't the tank update. I will be doing a May update probably towards the end of this month since I'm making this video today. And that's it. So here's the deal, guys. I'm not telling you guys to go out and dose nitrates. That is not what I'm saying. I'm sharing my experiences with you guys. And I'm sharing with you guys that look, I did the test and it came out zero or very close to zero. I dosed nitrates to kind of combat the zeroness or the lack of nitrates in the system. And here are the noticeable things that I notice right away. Um, these are indicators that you can use if you feel like you may have a deficiency, a nitrate deficiency. What I'd always recommend if you are thinking of dosing something is just make sure you can test it first. And the nice thing with nitrates is that it's really, I mean, it's a really straightforward test. If it turns out you have a similar situation to me and your coral are displaying similar uh, deficiencies. So in your acros, if especially the red color for me, I'm not sure how nitrates correlate with red, but if you're noticing that some of your red coral are not displaying the coloration that you have seen before, this could be why. So if you notice that, go buy a test kit. If you don't already have one, test it. And if it really is low, then go out and get a product that can increase that. And don't forget the other test is the euphilia and how, in my case, they were really receded into their skeleton. Throw some nitrates in there and now they're super happy. So that's it for this video, my friends. If you've stayed all the way to the end, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it. It actually really helps the channel out. Thank you for continuing to, to watch the content. I hope you're enjoying it. I'm doing my best to try to relay useful information to you guys and I hope it's helpful. As always, stay safe and I'll see you next week.